Hi guys and girls, this is Claudia here from Metal Days 2017. Hi, Hi. and this is Sanctuary. Hi. Great to be here. And How are you guys doing out there, there in you. Cyber World? <laughs> so um, you came here to Metal Days to play. Did you have a safe ride or was it difficult with the weather? It wasn't necessarily difficult with the weather, but we were driving the, down those windy switchbacks with the, yeah. a bus and a trailer. Oh, okay. We all got yeah. sick in the, in the It seemed in the like bus. it took us like three like, hours wow, back. Wow, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's so beautiful that, you know, the, the scenery is beautiful. We, we but, thought our tour manager But the way is hard. Yeah, at, at, once we finally got off the bus, we were like, oh, felt like we were seasick. <laughs> yeah, we thought our tour manager was going to throw up. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to throw up because it was just so... It felt like we were on a roller coaster. <laughs> and I love roller coasters, so but not for three hours. Yeah, it was so long, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, finally, you're here yeah. and you're safe. That's yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, you know, when it comes to writing your music, what is the procedure in your head, you know, inside you? What happens inside you? Oh, God. Lenny, the classic question. Oh, <laughs> only yeah. Only you can answer succinctly. Uh-huh. Really? Well, <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> it's kind of, it depends. It, the, the process can be different. Um, it's not always the same, but a lot of times, you know, I just try and come up with a riff that I like, and then usually I'll present it to the band. Hey, we yeah. have this idea. And then they kind of help and me they, And then you don't it. listen to them if they have their own ideas, and you do it the way you want it to. <laughs> you have to do let's, it anyway. Let's say I, I, forcefully it. Su- be told. I forcefully suggest <laughs> certain ideas that, mm-hmm. yes. So. And, but and then they are out. dumb, like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not dumb, but no, I mean, dumb, we would like dumb. to say it's a democracy, but it's dumb, not. Dumb, 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 so. dumb. But yeah, yeah I, you know what? It's it's a, it is a joint effort. It's, yeah. But um, Warl and I write most of the stuff. Yeah, but everybody right. helps. It's a team effort yeah. to 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 come up with the final product. Let's right. put it that way. But, so. but is it like you don't quote a Nevermore song? Okay. Yeah. Oh. You know we're trying to disassociate with that, <laughs> and then you have to bring that up. What well, you that? did a pretty good job of tagging us in there. Yeah. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you can always sorry. try to do that. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what is triggering you to write what you write and present to the guys? So, is it like more what happening around you? What's happening? For me, so, I mean, personally, I, I, I don't write lyrics. So for I, me, it's like yeah, yeah. caffeine. You know what I mean? Oh, I get it, okay. seriously. I get up in the morning, and that's when I write most my riffs. That's in the fueling morning. you. Well, like between okay. like between like ten and two. Okay. You know that's when I come up with a lot of my stuff, and it, it's. Mm. I mean, I don't want to say ca- caffeine is the um, inspiration, but it surely helps. Well, uh, okay. For me, it's nicotine, Valium, Vicodin, marijuana, ecstasy, and alcohol. <laughs> because that's the feel-good hit of the Sounds summer. Sounds healthy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Of course. <laughs> I know. At least in 2007. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be, if I was doing all that shit, I wouldn't be alive. <laughs> so, uh, there's another question that's hopefully not in every interview of other people, but in my <laughs> interviews, it is what? always. Yeah. So, I hope you're going to answer that one as well. <laughs> what is it that makes somebody be an artist or who defines who is an artist or what is this all about with the artistry stuff what makes you what, want to be an artist is that what you're asking what, what are you an artist just because you're there and you say i do stuff that i like and no uh, no you're an artist if your soul and your heart are invested in your passion that is music that's it you just fuel everything you have in it mm-hmm. that's that's artistry. what do you think I you agree think? with that. Wait, 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 no, come up with something equally oh. as witty. <laughs> huh. Um, <laughs> you can't. Yeah, I can't. You're right. I, here's the Just thing. like the ant that can't I, move the rubber tree plant. <laughs> I have never thought about it. I just do what I do. You see, just do see that? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, Therein lies I, the wisdom, folks. I have never oh, yeah. sat down Therein and thought lies about the wisdom. it. I just, you know, I just do what I do. And, and I'm glad that people consider it art because sometimes, you know, mm-hmm. you never know. I mean, a lot of times I think it's just, but then it ends up being great. So. <laughs> Just like that. You never know. So. <laughs> Sometimes it's an accident. <laughs> well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Sometimes it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy accident. <laughs> oh yeah. Hopefully not a number two. <laughs> mm. So when you're sharing with your fans, like playing live, and then you enter the studio, how do you get all that energy onto the CD? I mean, isn't that difficult? 
this one's yours, buddy. <laughs> I don't have anything ready for this. Well, I, you know, again, you I, think, I think it's just something that you hope translates. <laughs> yeah. And But I can tell you that there's been times where, you know, a song that we write in rehearsal doesn't necessarily have the, end up having the same energy as it does when you record it. A lot of times mm. when you get there and you record it, you know, some... Uh, outside influence or whatever can change the way it's presented and it's, a lot of times it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, exactly. Mm-hmm. I, think, um, I think I can what, convey what he's trying to say is sometimes it becomes a bit mechanical but you have to work to mm-hmm. make it more organic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And uh, no, we're, we're pretty good at that. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're in stage, is it like you enter another world or you're just yourself and you play the show and enjoy it? For me, it's definitely another. It's like being, you know, it's like your alter step ego. Beyond. Uh, for me, because I mean, I'm I'm quite a bit different than I mean, I'm just kind of like a laid back guy. But on stage, mm-hmm. I don't feel like I'm the laid back guy. It's yeah. more of your, you know, your time to shine and everything. So it's definitely a different uh, alter ego for me. So and you, of course, you're you definitely are an alter ego on the stage. Mm-hmm. I learned years ago, you know, that I had to adapt and change my personality just to deal with the stress and everything that goes along with it. And I'm, I'm not the same guy. When I'm on stage, I'm mm. a completely split personality. And I think that's a little bit necessary. And mm-hmm. that's just, I guess, the, the creative side of me. Um, mm-hmm. But I enjoy, when I'm at home, I'm a quiet guy that just sits mm-hmm. on the couch with his cat. <laughs> and that's all right. I'm, 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 My cat, well, I, I used to have two cats and one doggy. I lost them all within three months. That was hard. Mm-hmm. That was really hard because my, my doggy, Cinnamon, she was 15 years old. Had to, she had to go mm-hmm. bye-bye. Um, and I lost two cats, one 15 and one 13. And now I have a new one, a new mm-hmm. kitty. I always said I'll never get another one. I don't <laughs> even know why I'm talking about this. But anyway... <laughs> But yeah, because he, it touches you. That's good. He's got the cutest doggy in the world too, right now. So <laughs> I do, and a pretty cute cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, 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 well, you got Mr. Finn. He's got Mr. Finn, right. his kitty, and he's got um, Simon the Simon doggy. Simon the boxer. Simon the boxer. Do people normally talk about their pets? <laughs> It's fun. Well, why though. not? They're, 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 they're fun. We should talk about our pets. <laughs> yeah, you should. You know, if you're talking about that stuff, that's really something do that you, touches do you. Have, you. Yeah. Do you have pets? No. Oh, What's you're that? such a bad person. Well, Why? I'm trying to become better, but I okay. have like allergies, I was you know. Oh, okay. Two well, cats. My okay. my grandmother actually she had a cat, that's and a, then I was like excuse, having allergies, actually. so I'm trying not well, to be nasty. You know what? When nasty. I was when I was a boy, But I was allergic to cats. Oh, really? But when I got older, you lost that. Yeah, I lost it when cool. I got older. Like right, I think around 18 years old, I lost the allergy. That's great. And so now I love cats and I love dogs. Well, maybe. Give me some years, you know, oh. probably. Cats are pretty easy. Start with a cat. Yeah, start with a cat. They're easy. Yeah. They But they don't really listen to you, you know? No, they don't. They no, don't. Because, they're free because personalities. Because they're smarter than you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our That's cat's like, sort of like a dog. It does. It actually comes when you call him. So. Oh. Yeah. It's oh, kind of weird. Nice. Yeah. But, It's strange. Yeah, he thinks <laughs> he's a dog. So. I want a Sphinx cat. The, yeah. The hairless ones. Okay. They're, they're freaky looking. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> they're it. freaky looking and they love to snuggle with you because they're cold because they don't have any oh, hair. Oh, <laughs> but that's a bit sad, right? No, it's no? endearing. Oh. <laughs> I just want to hug them all. Hug them all. That could be actually a hug title of something. <laughs> hug them all with a hammer. <laughs> just kidding. So, uh, you know, about this attitude of yeah the bad metal guys and everything you know they're so mean but that that doesn't really fit to cat loving and you know there's a different picture and you can still be a tough motherfucking metal guy and love kitties love kitties Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or doggies doesn't matter (laughs) that's okay too right (laughs) or if you want to have you know different kinds of pets that's fine too No, not snakes. No, that's disgusting. No? Oh. They smell What? bad. Oh, you think? They do smell bad. We, we had a friend who used to be one of our road crew back in okay. the day, mm-hmm. and he liked 
he had a pet snake named Lucifer. Okay. And he was a horrible person. He would feed little... The snake or the... <laughs> the, 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 ex road, the... The ex-road crew guy, because okay. he, would, he would have parties at his house right. and give girls drugs and then lock them in the room with the snake and make them watch while he fed the snake mice. I'm laughing now, but it was true. It, it is true, and it oh, was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I was, in there, terrible. I was in there a couple times, and I was shocked. I was on the drugs, but, well, maybe. Or it's just a story we don't know. No, no, this, no, it's this, true. This, this, no, it's Whoa. true. Okay. Yeah, it's true. That's hard life, you know, <laughs> reality. For the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> for the mouse, of course. <laughs> Probably for the snake, too. We don't know. The, uh, the horrible thing was the mice pooped themselves before they got eaten. <laughs> they did when they saw the snake coming. <laughs> You saw this trail of poop coming out, and then ah, they were gone. It's the horrible. only thing and left could, is the you, could, you yeah. could see the big lump in the snake, like traveling down and down and down and down. And down. It, was, it was really traumatic. Life and death. Mm -hmm. uh, There's our inspiration right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You ever wrote about that, actually? <laughs> well, not until now. Well, I'm going to have to write a song about. <laughs> About I want to hear that one. I really do. <laughs> okay, we're being goofy now. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> that's what I do sometimes. You, you got an impromptu weird, weird ass interview. Yes. <laughs> See, those are the best ones, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not all these questions like over again you know, <laughs> that you probably had in your life once yeah, or exactly. twice. Exactly. <laughs> so you know about the image of uh, being in a metal band. Is it? When you're talking to people outside your, you know, normal space of working, then uh, are you talking about your job at all, or you try to leave it out? It depends if they ask. <laughs> okay, so if if you're somewhere, you know, just like normal, invited, sure. yeah, and they yeah. say, "Oh, and what's your job?" Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, I tell them. Yeah. yeah. You want to know? Yeah. I'm a I'm an you, I'm you, I'm a network engineer for a water ski company. Mm -hmm. He so. enjoys water sports. Yeah. Okay. So, basically, he's like our president. He likes women to pee on him. Russian women. I'm just kidding. I, I said I. from the 70s. I, I, you didn't I, get that. I said I wouldn't go there. Yeah. That's a term that's never used anymore. Water sports? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a bad term. Yeah. Uh, it means water it means you enjoy urination and sex together. That's just gross. For the record, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. In I, the shower, I, I, maybe. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, right? Well, no, no you got to do what you got to do, do, but that's not in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is it you got to do next after Metal Days? <laughs> Where are we going next? Mm -hmm. We are playing... Do you um, know where you're going to? Do yeah. you like the things I that think we, we play Munich tomorrow. In Munich. Yeah. In Munich. In Munich yeah. tomorrow. Uh, I think it's called Free and Easy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're quite on a long tour. Until uh, we end at Wacken on, on August oh. 4th. So. Oh, cool. We're going there too. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wacken is always a very livid experience. Oh, yeah. Because there's so many goddamn people. Mm -hmm. And now, let's hope that it's not raining. Oh, yeah. Because when it rains there, it's... It seems like it does But it's time. rain or shine, you know. Yeah. yeah it well, we've been does. there a few times, or I've been there a couple times, and it yeah. rained this both will be, times. This so. will be the fifth time I've played Wacken. Oh. Um, four Come times. Back. No, no. Three times with Nevermore and two times with Sanctuary. Yeah. 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 Um, hey. It's always a hit and miss. Mm -hmm. It's either really freaking hot. Yes. Or there's a it's lot raining. of rain. Yeah, and, and it's totally muddy. And people that's are pulling. That's the cool thing, though, all the mud and people getting all no, that stuff. <laughs> well, kind of it's okay for us because we're not out there in the crowd. Oh, and right? they have the, uh, the <laughs> mile-long beer uh, pipeline. pipeline yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they need it. That. Yeah, oh, yeah. Got to get the beer to the masses quicker. <laughs> and probably to stage, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's good. I, yeah, I hope I have one right to the stage. That'd I don't think great. I have a pipeline right to the stage, though. No, no. no. Damn it. no. That would be... That would, that Greetings would, to Thomas. That would be bad. 
<laughs> so thank you very much for the interview. Well, thank you. And I hope to see both shows. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Double kiss. Come oh, God. All right.